hi this is anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad and uh, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to use the destructors in c++ to deallocate the memory which is allocated for the class properties so let's get started the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna build a class so it's gonna be class and let's say human and then a pair of uh, curly braces and between these curly braces we're gonna write the body of this class all right the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have two pointers and uh, let's write them in the private block so it's gonna be private as the access specifier then a colon and uh, let's have two pointers so it's gonna be a string pointer and let's call it as name and another one is gonna be an integer pointer and let's call it as age all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build the constructors and the methods in the public block so i'm gonna write the access specifier as public then colon and here first we're gonna build a constructor so our constructor is gonna take two parameters one integer value and one string value and uh, in this constructor we're gonna allocate the memory dynamically and we're gonna store the values passed to our constructor in that allocated memory so to define a constructor we need to write the class name and then a pair of parentheses and between these parentheses we need to specify the parameters taken so let's say in this case it's going to be a string and let's call it as i name and then again another integer parameter and let's call it as i age so here in this constructor body we're going to allocate the memory dynamically and we're going to store that returned address in these pointers so that's why First, I'm going to allocate the memory to store a string value. So it's going to be name equal to new string. And then it's going to be age equal to new int. That's because, you know, age is an integer type. All right. Now we have allocated the memory dynamically to store an integer and a string value. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to store the values passed to our constructor in that allocated memory to do that i'm gonna write star you know the value operator name equal to i name and again star age equal to i age all right now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a method you know which is gonna print out the values pointed by these two pointers so i'm gonna call that method as uh, void display and uh, it's, it's not going to take any parameters and here inside this method we're going to say hi i am and then stream insertion operator and we're going to refer to the value stored in the memory pointed by this pointer name and that's why it's going to be star name and then again stream insertion operator and uh, let's insert some string and i'm gonna write and i am then we're gonna refer to the value stored in the memory pointed by the pointer age and that's why it's gonna be age and let's insert some string and we're gonna say years old all right now we're gonna end this line the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a destructor so here in this constructor what we have done is we have allocated the memory dynamically so all of us know that you know our destructor will be called when the object is going to be destroyed so what we're going to do is we're going to deallocate the dynamically allocated memory using this new here so we're going to write a destructor to define a destructor first we need to use the tilde symbol and then the name of the class which is human and then no parameters in the parenthesis and then the destructor body so here we're going to use the delete keyword to deallocate the memory so it's going to be delete and then the pointer is going to be name and again it's going to be delete and it's going to be the pointer age all right now we have a class definition where we have allocated the memory dynamically in the constructor and we have deallocated that allocated memory in our destructor in this destructor let's print some message we're gonna say all memories 
are released all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class human in our main function to do that i'm gonna use the new keyword so we need a pointer it's gonna be human star let's give a name anil equal to new and then the class name which is human and uh, since we have defined only one constructor you know which is gonna take two parameters we need to pass the values so here i'm gonna pass the string value as anil and then we need to pass an integer value for age and uh, it's gonna be let's say 24. the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call the display method using this pointer anil so it's gonna be anil and then we're going to use the arrow operator because we are accessing using a pointer and then we need to call the display and add a semicolon and uh, i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this all right now you guys can see hi i am anil and i am 24 years old and the main thing that we need to note is that you know the memory is not deallocated that's because that object is still in the memory so just for the demonstration purpose here what we're gonna do is we're gonna deallocate the memory pointed by this pointer anil for that i'm gonna use the delete keyword and it's gonna be anil okay now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this now you guys can see hi i am anil and i am 24 years old and all memories are released so that message is from this destructor you know after deallocating all the memory which are allocated dynamically in the constructor so we can say that a destructor is normally used to free all the resources which, which are used in your class so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial